if Nick needs 25 minutes to do his homework and his mom will check it at 6 o'clock, what time should he start? Well, the correct answer is going to be B, 535. But how did we get 535? Well, there's two ways. One way is I'm going to show you a clock, and we're going to start at 6 o'clock. That's what this clock is showing. Now, keep in mind, Nick needs 25 minutes to do his homework. So he has to start before 6 o'clock. What we're going to do is we're going to count back 25 minutes starting at 6 o'clock. So I take away 5 minutes. My time is 5.55. Now I take away 10 minutes. My time is 5.50. Take away another five minutes for uh, taking away a total of 15 minutes. My time is 545. Take another five minutes away for 20 minutes off the clock. We're at 540. And then we take our final 25 minutes away and we see our time is 535. So you take away 25 minutes and our time is 535. There's another way to do the problem though. We can set this up like an arithmetic problem where I start at six o'clock and subtract off 25 minutes. Now we do need to borrow because here I have 0 minus 2 and 0 minus 5. We need to borrow an hour from the 6 and remember that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. So I'm going to rewrite the 6 o'clock as 560. I borrow an hour from the 5 and add it to the minutes for 60 minutes. So I start off over here with 0 minus 5. I still need to borrow again, so I'm going to borrow uh, from the 60, make that a 50, and add a 1 here. So that's going to give me a 5. 5 minus 2 is 30. And then 5 minus 0 is 5. And that's how we get our time of 535. So there was two ways to solve this problem and get the answer of 535 using a clock or setting up an arithmetic problem. Either way, the correct answer is B.